The bronze medal match kicked off by New Zealand and by Tapaya Cook Savage. Samoa must rouse themselves from the disappointment of watching Australia smite GB and find an answer. That's not an ideal start though. Captain Dixon winning the penalty for the All Black Sevens. Tito Harris casually, as casually as you like, flips it on to Brady Rush. Samoa jackling hard but illegally. Out. Tito Harris gets off and running quickly. Cook Savage. Wide they go to Shea Clark. Can he free the hand? Caught a meter short. And Samoa through Valvasa Afasua have stolen it back. Good last ditch defending Stay from Samoa. And Milani Matavao has to hoof it clear. Rush scurrying back. Trying to escape the clutches of Masofal, the teenager. Dixon to Tito Harris. Another fresh out of school onto the World Series. Rush, one-handed down the touchline. Clark took it on. Frenetic opening minute of the bronze medal decider. Cook Savage. He's got Regan Ware lurking down the tram line. Ware cutting inside on the 22. Sends it back inside to Dixon. Blind pass up a Sua. A Samoan torpedo has rearranged it. Kiwi ribcage there. <laughs> Collier picks up the pieces. The long striding Dylan Collier heading for the opening try. Can he make it? He's shackled just short by the offload. Delicious. And from the veteran to the youngster, Xavier Tito Harris lights up Twickenham again. Oh, wow. What a try from New Zealand. Tito Harris. He is, everyone is going to know his name by the end of this tournament. But this fantastic defensive effort from Samoa, they did so well shadowing the plays and the outside edge, and they put that massive shot in centre field, but the rest of the team didn't follow it up. New Zealand shouldn't have been able to counter-attack as successfully as they did from a shot like that. Samoa were organised, they were on it, and they've just got to keep pushing up. But like I say, credit to New Zealand, they found a way. Cook Savage converts 7-0, Xavier Tito Harris, a rock star of New Zealand schoolboy rugby with the famous Kelston Boys Auckland School alumni including the great DJ Forbes one of the finest sevens players of all time a long-standing all black seven skipper to the inflatable Kiwis waving in the stands Samoa trailing and tripping themselves up here a spill from PC Le Lua and New Zealand will have the scrum 22 meters out centre field and this fill apart it's a big opportunity for the All Black Sevens to go two tries to the good. Yeah, just compounding that pressure, aren't they? Just for as long as you can, keeping the opposition out of the game, the opportunity to get into you, whether it's defensively attacking, just keeping them out. Point. Only twice have Sit. New Zealand finished outside the medals on the series this season. Looking to keep it at that, Brady Rush picks up from the base, Regan Ware, what a step that is, back inside to Rush, he'll finish it, Regan Ware, vicious right foot step, too hot for Samoa to handle. Yeah, way too hot, New Zealand are on fire, you feel maybe there's a little bit of feeling that agree from that loss to Fiji, they've got a big point to prove, they want to silence this crowd to show them how good they really are. Oh, I need to get into this game, get that defensive structure going again. Billy Rush scored in the Singapore final two tournaments ago. And scoring in the bronze medal match here in London. Two from two conversions for Tobias Cook Savage. And Brady Rush stretches that New Zealand lead. Samoa have scarcely touched the ball. Collier will try and make sure they don't get a touch. It's gone back through the hands of Matabao. That is a little bit loose. All back play. Dixon smothers it on the ground. Collier, more red zone, black possession. Ware bobbling one out towards Tito Harris. Rush, Cook Savage pointing where he wants Rush to kick it. And this is why Cook Savage scurrying away. Rescued by New Levaya, who gets to his feet again. Gets rid of Cook Savage. Get off to buy a Cook Savage. Sit down, Xavier Tito Harris. Can Samoa spark something from deep? Massafal, 18 years of age, can't cling on. 
Samoan errors opening the door for New Zealand. And so often the All Black Sevens need no second bidding. This is Shea Clark. Wrestled to deck by Matabao. Rush can't get away from Palanico. Collier, centre field. Cook Savage. Tito Harris with him. Jinx back on the inside. That pass looked to go forwards, and it did. And at last, Samoa can draw breath and try and launch something from this scrum. 90 seconds of the first half remaining. They've touched the ball about five times. Yeah. And Vata Pillow Maliko hasn't touched it at all. Not left their half, have they? It's been all New Zealand pressure. I need you to get your head in. Doesn't matter, I need you to get your head in. No way, It's not been a great fixture, this is the bronze medal match for Samoa. Played eight lost eights. The stage 18. of World Series tournaments. They were Series champions overall back in 2010. 11 titles over the years in terms of gold medals and cups. Time back on. Cups. Gold in Cape Town. The best they've mustered Five. this year. They have to do it the hard way. And they to pick up the bronze medal today. Matavao, Eti Slater. On the left they come with Balanico. Oh my goodness, the ferocity, <laughs> the velocity of those collisions. And then the handing again, letting Samoa down. And Xavier Tito Harris looks to take full advantage. Cook Savage sends it back to Dixon. Stuck on 98 tries, Sam Dixon. Not able to reach the 100 in Toulouse or in London so far. Seven and a half minutes to score a double. Clark, Rush, oh, Aposua lined him up again, but Rush is quick enough with the hands to hit Regan Ware. And the All Blacks up over halfway, the All Blacks sevens up over halfway. Samoa pinch it back through Apelo Maliko, Aposua, and here's the teenager, Masifal. What a moment! A Twickenham try for Malakisi Masifal, 18 years of age. And he's brought Samoa roaring back into the bronze medal showdown. Oh, and just in the nick of time as well. If they'd have finished out this first half being nils, you would have thought that's the game, that's it done. Great work at the breakdown there, getting the turnover. Just getting the points on the board when it mattered. Keeping them in this fight. Exuberant finish from Malakisi Masafal. Just his second try for Samoa. Debuted in Toulouse last weekend. Milani Matabao adds the conversion. It's a seven points, one score game. Half time, Samoa seven, New Zealand 14. The stakes simply do not get any higher. And that is coming next. Meanwhile, Brady Rush soaring. Magnificent curls billowing behind him. But holding on in the deck. And Samoa go quickly, Palanico. Here is Apelo Maliko. Loads of blue jerseys away to the right. Couldn't release the ball. Matabao now goes left. 2v2. Palanico cuts back into heavy black traffic. Matabao now releases it. Apelo Maliko. Can he weave his magic again? Taking the scenic route. Abbasua going more direct. Collier with the tackle. Penalty Samoa again. Masifal plowing oh. over. Oh, he's in again. The teenagers having a party in the big smoke. New Zealand being upstaged at Twickenham. A double for Malakesi Masipal. And as probably one of the smallest players on the field, he chose to go route one. Does a little bit of a step work here, look, and then just runs towards three New Zealand defenders, but manages to get through. Kick to level the scores. From wide on the right, from Matabao. Oh, it just fades wide. Two points in it. Five minutes 40 left. Malakesi Masipal. Not earning much of a smile from William Atele Brian Lima, but the merest hint of a nod of approval from the gnarled, wizened chiropractor. Takes a lot for the stony faced hitman to crack a smile. Brady Rush again, hoisted high in the air by Regan Ware. Samoa winning another penalty. Apelo Maliko's done it again. And is there a card coming here? There is. 
Brady Rush Ooh. losing his shorts. New Zealand losing a man for two minutes. It's deemed a cynical obstruction from Rush. And Sam will have a power play. Seven against six for the next two. You good? What do you want? Wow, this could be a game changing moment. Scrum. Scrum. Scrum is the weapon of choice for Samoa. They've won three out of their past five matches against New Zealand, including the Cape Town Cup final earlier in the series. Va Apelo Maliko points the way. A half century of tries this season. Five clear of Marcos Moneta. The money man's going to have to score at least five in the Cup final to tie that up. Mind you, you wouldn't put it past them, would you? CG Argentina coming your way later after the playoff showdown. Here comes Samoa, the skipper Matabao. Why they go, massive foul. He's not going to get a hat trick, is he? Stop, goal, stop again. The dummy in the duck. Matabao, Slater, Valvasa, Afa. Oh. No! Oh, does he get it down? Not no. quite. Inches in it, millimeters oh, in it. Ball exposed. Carter has it. And New Zealand could fill it them from deep here. Dylan Collier lolloping away. Now Clark against Neil Levaya. Neil Levaya clings onto an ankle. Slater and Matabal pile through, but New Zealand recycle Afasua is about 20 <laughs> miles offside. But he couldn't resist a free crack at the ribs of Tapaya Cook Savage. And now it's spilling over. Now everybody's piling in. And there isn't a person inside Twickenham who wants to get in the middle of that scrap. Thank you. Get back to your places. Get back. And in fairness, sometimes when the play is that frantic, it is hard to keep a track on where the offside line is. Because if there is no tackle, there is no offside line. And the ball can be in play for a, you know, a good couple of seconds and sevens without there being a tackle. Balvasa Apasuta, whether he knew he was offside or not, he just couldn't resist. The exposed ribs, the soft Pinny tissue, four. the kidneys of the buyer Cook Savage. And number nine, Blue. A minute left on the sin binning for Brady Rush. Got no idea. I'm not doing Both that. coaches go to the bench. PC on. Lua is on for Samoa. Aquila Rokulisoa, leading point scorer on the series, 415. He's racked up over the past six months or so. And the Fiji born. Playmaker's first task is to escort the ball over the touchline. Tension plenty in the stands. Schroeder and Samoan flags. The Manu Samoa fans daring to dream. Two points in it. Dixon has his pocket picked. Afasua. Brings it away. This is Palanico. But Apoy Palanico straightening away from one. Dixon did enough, but handed on to PC Lewa. Dixon gets over ball, slows it down. Neil Levaya. Good step. Was he taken high by Dixon? No, say the officials. Lewa pointing the way. Palanico. Apelo Malico. This is the man Samoa wants. Burning away from Rokuli Soa. Can the All Black Sevens catch him? Oh, it's the tackle oh. of the season. Aquila Rokuli Soa. Lassus. Ba Apelo Malico a meter short. Oh, wow. What a chase that was. What drama in the bronze medal match. Samoa lining away to the right. The captain, Melani Matabao. Dummy oh. stepping. Boozling the All Black Sevens. He's under the posts. Samo Ali for the first time. What a passage of Sevens rugby. Oh, wow. What a tackle, like you say, on the outside edge. Of all the tries he scored, this is the one he really wanted to make sure he got. An incredible tackle, look. Just one metre short, but he manages to recycle. That's key. And they play it away. Just lovely little bit of footwork there. Straight through the middle. Thank you. Milani Matavao played for Samoa in the World Rugby Pacific Challenge on Sunday, then flew straight to London. And here he is leading his troops 
to within two minutes and five seconds of a place on the podium. Sinbinning over for Brady Ross, but in that time, Samoa have seven crucial points. Five now the difference as the clock ticks closer to the end game. Mataval being warned to get on with it by the referee. He and Masafal went on the same wavelength. The hanging kick. Rokoli Soa juggling. Didn't go forwards. Rush finds Rokoli Soa again. Away from Leilua to Carter. This is harem scarem rugby. It's who dares wins. And the All Black Sevens are one daring team. Sione Molia into the 22. Restored to seven men. Can they restore their lead? Leroy Carter. Cut down by Masafal and Fananiko. Offside. And the penalty goes New Zealand's way. Samoa offside. offside 75 off seconds him. left. Matavao injured. 7v6 for New Zealand. Surely Clark. they'll score. Molia inside. Clark. Try. Scores level. Kick from the wide outside to put New Zealand back in front. Oh, very composed bit of play there, just went through the hands, knew there'd be a gap somewhere and exposed it back on that inside. Just testing the outside shoulder there, that pulls the defence across by giving it to the wing. And then there's a back inside option. Aquila Roccoli saw up to lead from wide on the touchline. It hasn't got the distance. It drops just short, 19 points apiece. As we enter the final 30 seconds, Shea Clark, All Black Under 20 International, Milani Mataval is back to his feet. He's coming off though, the captain. Samoa forced to withdraw their skipper. Extra time, sudden death score if required. Rokali Soa with a disguise kick off to the right. It falls kindly for Elijah Nico, the debutant. And he gets it away quickly to Fa'afuina. New Zealand resourcing that rock hard. Scott Curry wins it back. Rokoli Soa has it now for Carter. Clock is red. Final play of the bronze medal decider. Now Samoa steal it. Bananiko hands it on the plate for Neo Nebaya. Taunu'u, Neo Nebaya! <laughs> Samoa! This proud rugby nation have sank the All Black Sevens. A try with the clock red from the Samoan Colossus. Taunu'u, Neo Nevaia. Bronze for Samoa. Devastation for New Zealand. What a finish! Nah. And this is how it happened for Lavatati. What a steal! Unbelievable steal! And then just the individual confidence and belief to absolutely back themselves on the outside edge. The crowd were going crazy. He started to cheer himself, even though he's a few meters out. Absolutely enjoy it. That is the winning run. Flags waving. Taunu'u ni Olavaya from Villain in Toulouse, red carded, banned for three matches, to a hero at Twickenham. And Muliang Atele, Brian Lima, at last, the merest hint of a grin on the coach of the grizzled Samoa in coach's face. Samoa have done it. The bronze medal is theirs as they beat New Zealand by 24 points to 19.